Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, and the sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful to let I came out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line goes back to you being the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, one of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Shalom. It's your brother Halakia from the GMS Denver camp. Coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah with another video. And the title of this uh, video is going to be To Hell with Juneteenth. Payback is a must, you see, because you 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 so called you Israelites, especially you so called Negroes, are so are so easily swayed by these things that Esau puts in front of you, man. This Juneteenth shit is is just another distraction to keep you pacified, to keep you docile for understanding and knowing who you truly are, from coming for for understanding. And, and this is what they try to do to you, uh, do for you. You see, to say, oh, look, we gave you a federal holiday all, to forget about what they've done you done to you and during the time of slavery, man. That shit ain't gonna cut it. So let's read what June Teeth is, man. Matter of fact, before we start that, let's get this. This is Job. I think it's eight and twenty. Was it twenty and eight? Job twenty. Let's see. Joel 20 and 10 it says his children shall seek to please the poor and that's what they do when they try to give you these these uh, federal holidays when they try to include you in to their society someday someday that they've never done before you see to try to pacify you to keep you docile from waking up to what they've really been doing unto you man to see like oh we've changed so forth and so on man or we're gonna pull these statues down because we're sorry for what we've done to your people in the past that's all they're doing man they're seeking to please the poor. And it says what? And his hand shall restore their goods. And eventually that's exactly what's going to happen. Because when you understand and know that this planet earth belongs unto us and everything in it belongs unto us. Everything that these damn devils and all these heathen nations have, they're going to be given over into the hands of the Israelites when it's all said and done. So now let's get into this Juneteenth. So what is Juneteenth? It says Juneteenth is a federal holiday in the United States commemorating the emancipation of enslaved African Americans who are Israelites. Letting you know that they had they had you in slavery. You see? It is also often observed for celebrating African American culture. Originating in Gav Galveston, Texas, it has been celebrated annually on June 19th in various parts of the United States since 1866. So this is what that is, you see? So this just shows, this is just more proof that these people had us in slavery. Now, what does the Bible say about slavery and those that had the Israelites in slavery, man? Let's get it. Let's get a few scriptures, man. It ain't going to be too long. Straight to the point. And you Edomites do these things and they just, all you're doing is giving us more ammo to show you, no, this is not, this is not acceptable, man. This is not, this is not going to make up for what you've done by giving our people a fucking federal holiday to commemorate the end of slavery. No, man, you still have to pay for what you've done during the time of slavery. Let's get this real quick. Zechariah 2 and 8, it says what? Thus, for thus said Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shav host, after the glory have he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you, for he that touch of you touch of the apple of his eye, and that's what you Edomites have done, man. Out of all the nations, you Edomites have put us through the worst captivity that we have ever suffered, man. You see? And when you did that, you were touching the Most High's eye, man. The apple of the Most High's eye. And what does the Most High say in verse 9? It says what? For behold, I will shake my hand upon them, and they shall be a spoil to their servants. You hear that? He's shaking his hand upon you right now. How is he doing that? By way of his prophets, man. Telling you what you did to, to our people was wrong. It was prophesied to happen. You see? But you took it too far. Now we're shaking our hand upon you and telling you that the same people that you had in hardcore bondage, not just the so-called Negroes, but the so-called Hispanics and Native Americans as well, 
the time is going to come where we're going to spoil you. And that's what the Bible calls for, man. Zechariah 2 and 9, For behold, I will shake my hand upon them, and they shall be a spoil to their servants. And ye shall know that I am Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah of hosts. Like, and ye shall know that Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah of hosts have sent me. And that's exactly what's about to happen. You see? All these bullshit ass stimulus checks and all this bullshit ass reparation talking, this bullshit ass Juneteenth holiday, that shit don't mean nothing to us, man. We want the reparations that the Most High is going to give us. He's going to give us you heathen as a possession, man. That's what's coming. That's what we want. That's true reparations, man. You see? That's going to atone for what you've done unto us during the time of, of, of slavery, man. Not some bullshit ass federal holiday. We don't want that shit, man. You see? What is what does Revelation 13 and 10 say? Man, let's start at 9. Revelation 13 and 9 says what? If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. You hear that? So you 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 just gave our people. A federal holiday commemorating what? Commemorating what? The end of slavery, man. But what does the Bible say about he that leadeth into captivity? That he shall go into captivity. That's that's what's supposed to happen. And that's what's going to happen according to the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. You devils are going into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And this is what we're patiently waiting on. We're not patiently waiting on no damn reparations check. We're not patiently waiting upon some damn 40 acres in a mule that you're never going to give our people. We're waiting for that true justice to come from Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah and it's on its way. This is why you see your kingdom going down, man. This is why you see America losing its power grip upon the planet Earth. Why? Because it's a transition of power happening. And once that transition of power is complete, you heathen nations will be in our hands. As is prophesied, man. Thus said Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah. You see, let's get Jeremiah 30 and 16. What does it say? Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. And you Edomites above all nations have devoured us, man. Making nothing but complete profit off of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You see, you he all you heathen nations took part to partook in it too. But we, we, we mainly focus on them damn Edomites, man. Because that's who, that's who we want above all nations. We won't get all you nations in the kingdom. But we're licking our chops to get these goddamn Edomites, man. It says what? And all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. This is prophecy, man. Every last enemy of Israel is going to be put in servitude under the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans in the kingdom of heaven, man. Shalkers and chains about your neck. Why? For what you have done unto our people. That's why the scriptures tell you, be not deceived, the most is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap, man. It goes on to say what? And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. And that, and, and that goes for all you nations, man. All you nations prey upon us. All you nations have taken us for a spoil, man. Mainly you Edomites. So the same thing is going to happen unto you. Once Yahweh Shah returns to take the power from Esau's hand, man. You see, this is the will of the Heavenly Father, man. This is what it's going to be when it's all said and done. Not some bullshit-ass Juneteenth, man. We don't give a damn about none of that madness. All we focus on is what the Most High said, man. And the Most High said he's going to give you healing over into our hands, man. You see? Let's get that, because yeah, even, even the Lord and Savior, who you eagerly call Jesus Christ, whose true name is Yahweh Shah, he told you that, that he was going to do this. This is uh, Revelation chapter 2, verse 25. It says what? But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end, to him will I give power over the nations. You hear that? So we got to hold fast this truth, man. Hold fast the doctrine of the Most High. Hold fast to the understanding that we are the Israelites and we are the supreme nation upon this planet Earth. Ain't no equality when it comes to the nation of Israel, man. We are above all nations as the Most High has told us, man. As the Most High has ordained it to be. You see? 
And if we continue to endure all these trials and tribulations that are about to come upon us, Yahweh Shah said what, man? He's going to give us power over the nations. But get in with you Edomites. And what are we going to do? Verse 27 says what? And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. When you go into that word rod, it means to, to what? To rule. Matter of fact, let's just get it. When you go into this word rod, it says we're going to rule with a rod of iron, right? Strong's G, 4464, Hrabdas. Hrabdas. Hrabdas, right? And they go, let's get, to, let's get straight to the point. It says what? When applied to kings, and we're going to be made kings under our Lord Yahweh Shah, who was the king of kings. It says, when applied to kings with a rod of iron indicates the severest, most rigorous rule. You hear that? And that's what's about to come upon you heathen nations, beginning with you Edomites, man. We're going to rule over you with the severest, most rigorous rule the world has ever seen, man. You thought the transatlantic slave trade was back. Wait till you see us Israelites put you heathen nations into captivity, man. You people ain't seen shit yet. You see? You ain't seen nothing yet, man. Oh, it's going to be bad. And it will happen. Revelation 2 and 26 says what? And he that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I have received of my father. You can go read about Yahweh shall receiving them from his father in Psalms chapter 2, man. This is what's coming. This is how you pay us back <laughs> for putting us into captivity, man. By you going into captivity. That's what the Bible calls for, man. You see? That's what it calls for, man. And not just the so-called Negroes, but the so-called Hispanics and Native Americans too. Because you had them in captivity as well, man. They're still in captivity right along with us to this day, man. Matter of fact, let's get that. <laughs> let's get it. That's Jeremiah 50 and 33. What does it say? Thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shav host, the children of Israel, which is the northern kingdom, the so-called Hispanics and Native Americans, and the children of Judah, which will be the so-called Negroes or West Indians and Haitians, were oppressed together. And when did this take place? We were oppressed together here in Babylon the Great, man. This is the only captivity where the Israelites have been together, you see, at one time. Oh, you know what? And that's why this place is called spiritual Egypt, spiritual Egypt as well, man. Because the ancient Egyptians had all 12 tribes in captivity. And now the modern day Egyptians, which are the Edomites, have all 12 tribes in captivity to this day. You see? We were never oppressed together during the Assyrian captivity or the Babylonian captivity or the Medio Persian captivity or the Greek or Roman captivity, man. It was here in Babylon the Great where all 12 tribes were oppressed together, man. That's why this place is known as spiritual Egypt. Egypt as well, man. So it goes on to say, and all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go because we're still in your hand to this day, man. We're still in the hands of our enemies being oppressed and, and, and made slaves till this day, man. And you have to pay for it. You see, you have to pay for it. No, no amount of money, no fucking holidays. None, none, none of that is going to atone for what you've done unto our people, man. The only thing that's going, to, that's going to atone is you heathen going into captivity for a thousand long years, man. To build up our kingdom. That's what's coming. Let's get Isaiah 14. And one, it says what? For Yahweh, for Yahweh, me, Yahweh Shah will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. You hear that? So no matter what you Christians are talking about, the Most High has never done away with his people. It says he's going to yet choose Israel, man. Why? Because we are his chosen people forevermore. As it tells you all throughout the scriptures, man. And what is the Most High going to do for us? He says what? And, and set them in their own land. And what else? And the strangers shall be joined with them. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And these strangers are talking about Israelite foreigners. Who are going to be gathered from all the lands that they have been scattered to. You see? And that they're being oppressed into this day as well, man. He's going to gather all 12 tribes back unto himself. Verse 2 says what? And the people shall take them and bring them to their place and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Yahweh for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. 
and they shall rule over their oppressors. This is what the Most High has called for, man. This is what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah calls for, for you heathen nations to go into captivity under us. You see? We're going to take them captives whose captives they were. Who has us in captivity to this day? The Edomites, man. First and foremost. And all you other nations are profiting profiting off of us being into cap in captivity to this day. You're going to get it as well. Verse 3 says what? And it shall come to pass in that, and it shall come to pass in the day that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. And what did that hard bondage take place, man? Here in Babylon the Great, the worst captivity we have ever suffered through, man. You see? You heathen are going to pay. Ain't no if, ands, or buts about it, man. You see? There's nothing that you can say, there's nothing that you can do. That's going to stop this, man. This is what the Most High Yahweh Ba Shemi Yahweh calls for, and it will be brought to pass. And I'll wrap it up on this one, man. Let's get Psalms 149, and we'll start at uh, 5. It says, What? Let the saints be joyful in glory, let them sing aloud upon their beds. And that's talking about our rest in the kingdom of heaven, man. We're going we're gonna to rejoice. We just read it, Isaiah 14 and 3. The Most High is going to give us rest from our hard bondage. When, when is that going to take place? And Babylon the Great, man. It's like it's not Babylon the Great. It's going to take place in the kingdom of heaven because we know as Micah two, chapter 2 and uh, 10 tells you, this is not our rest, man. Arise in the part for this is not our rest. Our rest is going to take place in the kingdom of heaven. And that's what we're going to be joyful and saying aloud upon our beds, man. Verse 6 says what? Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. To do what? To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. Why? For what you have done unto us. Going back to what was said in Jeremiah 30 and 16. All that spoiled us, all that preyed upon us, all of our adversaries are going to suffer this same fate, man. Of being punished, man. You're going to be punished by the Israelites. What else are we going to do? Verse 8 says what? To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. You hear that? The elites of all you different nations, you're going to go into captivity first and foremost, man. Beginning with the elites of Esau, Edom, the damn Rothschilds, them sorry ass Rockefellers. You see? All of y'all are going to be shackled and chained, man, to be the first fruits of, the, of slavery in the kingdom of heaven. Then we're going to gather up, we're going to go gather up the nobles of, of Moab. The nobles of Ishmael, the nobles of Ham, the nobles of Ammon, the nobles of Japheth. All of y'all are going into captivity, man. Verse, two, verse 9 says what? To execute upon them the judgment written. And we just read the judgment that's written, that's written about, uh, uh, about the heathen going into captivity, man. That's the judgment written. That's what we're going to execute. We're going to fulfill the Most High's word by putting shackles and chains upon you heathen nations, man. This is the will of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, man. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. You see? So two-thirds of our people who are not in their right mind right now, they don't understand what we got coming to us, man. So they okay with this damn bullshit-ass Juneteenth holiday and the bullshit-ass reparation check. Not the remnant, man. You see? We, we, are, we are looking forward to... Uh, Shackling your ass up Chaining your ass up As soon as your children are born Putting their ass in the shackles and chains man Just like you're done unto us Oh it's coming <laughs> You see So you can continue on with your, your With your uh, with your fake love And trying to act like you Trying to include our people into this society It don't fucking matter at the end of the day Because the only thing that's going to be done Is the will of the heavenly father And it calls for what For all of you heathen nations To go into captivity under the Israelites, and it will be done. Thus saith the Bible, thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So with that, I'm gonna give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful that I came out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do. With that, I'm gonna say Shalom, Wa. A bob, a ball.